everyone, I'm Bella. Christmas is near. Let's all focus on Jesus' birth and the importance of spreading Jesus' love and peace in our homes. Let us sit back, listen attentively, relax, and enjoy the show. One, two, one, two, three, four. J C S T O Children's Church. Let's go. J C S T O Children's Church. Let's go. Children, let's enjoy the precious day that remind us all that we are love. Welcome to our Children's, Children's Church, Church Show. Hey there, Kuya all. Good to see you. How are things coming along? Pretty good, teacher Leah. Can't complain. I remember our last week's episode, one of the kids' responses found in Acts chapter 20, verse 35. And I have been a constant example of how you can help those in need by working hard. You should remember the words of the Lord. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Wow! I'm so amazed with you right now, Kuya Al. Of course, in the season of giving, you're welcome, Teacher Leah. Magmahalan Ating sundin ang gintong aral Hallelujah! Glory to God in the highest heaven And peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased Thank you Jesus Do you know what time it is? What? It's 
Story time. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged who was not expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. This was no ordinary baby, for Mary became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the Savior of the world, was born. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you goodness that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize Him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in highest heaven, heaven and, and peace on earth to those Lord with whom God is pleased. The angels had returned to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. In Isaiah 9:6. He was called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. He will reign with peace and righteousness. Amazingly, Isaiah says that a child will be born, a son will be given. It says in Luke 2.11, the Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Did you know that Jesus wants to live in our hearts. We need to make sure that Jesus has room in our lives. Let's make sure Jesus has a room in our Christmas. Make sure to read a verse and share something to your family about Jesus the days leading up to Christmas. Kaya, Merry Christmas! Enjoy your vacation! Hanggang sa muli po, God bless you and praise the Lord. Thank you, Chaplain Josh. For the Word of God. Now, let's hear from the children. It really feels like Christmas when we share our children's love with others. Be quick to forgive. Make sure Jesus has room in our lives. Jesus is the reason for the season. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us with love that goes on forever and ever. Please send your Holy Spirit to teach us to be humble, gentle, patient, and loving. May our home be a fight-free zone. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. Let them see and understand that all that is lovely in us is from you. Praise God. May you fill us with peace and joy because you are in our hearts. Again, children, thank you for watching. See you on our next episode for more Bible stories filled with love and joy. Enjoy your vacation, children. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. God bless and goodbye. goodbye.